Book of the Prophets. I want you to take a look at this, okay? And this is how I stumbled upon this. Okay, you, uh, I listened to Julie Green, and I listened to Amanda Grace. Amanda Grace is what's giving this prophetic word from the Lord. But, and I listen to her occasionally. Uh, but, it was, I thought, definitely from the Lord. As I was scrolling on TikTok, I first come across a video in China. And a building completely on fire. And people in the video has got it in hashtags, repent, and turn to Jesus. Well, and then you can see it's China because it's got China uh, buildings and writings and things, okay. So I watched that for a few minutes and I so the very next video I scroll on, I just scroll up. And here comes the pro pathetic word from Amanda Grace about China. You can't make this up. And I just want you to watch them. I'm going to put them together. And please watch them. So, here you go. Let's dive in. I'm going to show you China video first. After watching this video and listen to what Prophet Amanda Grace said in next video. <laughs> to me and this was way 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 last year probably towards the beginning of the year when he said an ayatollah and a dragon have merged and we just saw the image of them shaking hands these handshakes are going to go very sour they're superficial Demons are territorial. These handshakes don't last long. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But China, something interesting. This year in China is the year of the rabbit. Rabbits are prey animals. I love rabbits. We have many of them at the sanctuary. But in the wild, they're prey animals. They are hunted by bigger animals. It's no mistake that this year is the year of the rabbit for China. Because it's hunting season. And that dragon's about to be hunted down and the fire of the breath taken out of it. And parts of it become somewhat of a vapor because China has tried under the influence of the demonic to take a covenant that is God's. They have tried to literally seize something. And America in many ways allowed them to seize it. Allowed them to try to do this. Leadership allowed them to try to do this. Israel 
with the Philistines weren't listening to the Lord and they went to battle with the Ark of the Covenant with the Philistines and that Ark was taken and brought to the Philistines and put before their God Dagon who is a half man half fish hybrid Starbucks is not a new idea it comes from a part of the kingdom of darkness and pushed into the earthly realm their logo is not a new idea it's basically a demon marking its territory and so every time I walk by Starbucks I look at Chris I go I hate that mermaid And so Dagon looks like this. And the ark is put before Dagon. And every day they find Dagon thrown flat on his face because God wants his covenant back. And every day that he would lose his hands and the head broke off of the statue and they got afflicted with boils and tumors and, and, and rodents. All the rats came out of their hiding places. God called them all out. He spoke and they all came out from underground and they completely ravaged the land of the Philistines till they finally said, we have to give it back. And you know how they sent it back? They yoked two oxen, I believe it was. Yoked two oxen and they sent it back with gold, with interest. They took the ark, they took the covenant, they had to send it back with interest. China's gonna have to send back what they've taken with interest. <laughs> That's coming. But that underground church in China, you watch what the Lord does with them because he is going to raise them up in the middle and they are going to be the voice crying in the wilderness in that area. Tag, you're in. <laughs>